For year one, I certainly think we've seen financial benefits. And the expense, I mean, to be honest, yeah, it sounds expensive, but actually, I think I would be worse off financially if I hadn't done this because it's really, you know, it's improved my life in a lot of different ways, not just my business and my personal life. And that's going to pay dividends for a long time. And the bigger we got, you know, and the more successful we became, the more there was on our plate and we're just kind of spinning plates all the time. And the industry in which we, we work and our business in, in dentistry, um, it's really regulated in the UK and so there's quite a lot of stress on individuals within the, within the team all the time and it felt like we would come in you know every day and firefighting things coming at us all the time and it, it felt sometimes it took the passion out of it as well um, and you've got to kind of drop things to to deal with the day-to-day -day issues that are going on around you. When I show up um, at work now it feels more I feel in control rather than being controlled by everything else, which is great. Because sometimes dentistry becomes very clinical. It's very much about teeth rather than everything else. And that's not really what the coaching program's about. It's not what Strategic Coach is about. That's something that, yeah, you get from your training, but this is something very different that we were not taught of in any of our undergraduate training. And so meeting people who are in other fields of the sectors, I think now I feel more in common with them and their day-to-day um, learning and experiences and issues they've had, I think we feel very much aligned to them because, yeah, like we said, you still have HR issues, growth issues, setbacks, positive moments, um, employee problems, all these sorts of things and not got anything to do with dentistry. It's how your business as an entrepreneur and how you have to leave it. And also sometimes the, not the stress and strain, but having the burden of everything on your shoulders for some people is, is new and it's different, but knowing there are other people out there who still have that and have obviously moved forward from it, it's nice to see. I thought after the first workshop, yeah, I want to do this for a long time. And I was so glad that there were people that had, that had been doing it for many, many years. Because I thought, I don't just want this to be a course that ends after a year. And I think that's what we wanted from Coach was something that was there that was going to grow with us and we were going to grow with it all the time, not just for a, a finite amount of time. So I feel quite secure to know that actually this will end when I want it to and not when it finishes. We've sort of looked at coaching programs before, mainly aimed just purely at dentistry. So it's just been very specific to dentists and it's only dentists on there. Or we've done like other courses to do with management and leadership. But this was really something really different for us. It was sort of using terminology that really fit with us, i.e. being entrepreneurs, understanding what that is, the benefits and the different sort of way of thinking that you have as an entrepreneur. And that was never something that was ever really brought into any of the courses that we've done before or coaching programs. I'm sort of more aligned with these entrepreneurs now than probably dentistry. And I see myself doing more of that than learning more skills within dentistry, to be honest. I think that's where we're going at this stage. For me, obviously, it's the beginning of our journey and there's a long way to go, but the first year has been brilliant, really, really good.